In lesson 24, we're going to be working with decimals to the tenths and hundredths place values. Take a look at part one. Box A and box B have the same division problem of 7 divided by 10. In box A, we'll express any remainder as a fraction, and in box B, we'll express any remainder as a decimal. Let's start with box A. Can we do 7 divided by 10 evenly? The answer is no, so we need to count backwards. We can't do 6 divided by 10, or 5, 4, 3, 2, or 1, but we can do 0 divided by 10. If 0 divided by 10 equals 0, then 0 times 10 is 0. Subtract. 7 minus 0 is 7. And instead of writing this as a remainder, the next step would have been 7 divided by 10. So write down 7 divided by 10. And as you can see, our quotient is 0 and 7 tenths, or just 7 tenths. Now let's solve the problem horizontally. Here's 7 divided by 10, so just write down 7 divided by 10. And this fraction is pronounced 7 tenths, so write down 7 tenths, and be sure to spell it out. Let's move over to box B. Here we have 7 divided by 10, which is the same problem that we had earlier, so we will have a remainder. Instead of stopping at the remainder, though, we're going to add a decimal point and a trailing zero to the dividend so that we can keep dividing. So let's do that now. Here's a decimal point and the trailing zero, and that allows us to keep dividing. Don't forget to write this decimal point in the quotient as well. Let's divide. Cover up and slide. 7 is smaller than 10, so we can slide over one more column. 70 divided by 10. We can do that. If 70 divided by 10 equals 7, then 7 times 10 equals 70. That's true, so subtract. And as you can see here, that's the end of the problem. I'm going to add a leading zero in front of our quotient as well so that people notice that there's a decimal point there. And one way to pronounce this number is 0.7 or just 0.7. And we'll learn another way to pronounce this number in a few moments. Let's solve the problem horizontally. Here we have 7 divided by 10, and 7 divided by 10 gave us 0.7 as our quotient. So write it down. And notice here that 7 divided by 10 is the same problem that we had here. This quotient was pronounced as 7 tenths, so this quotient is pronounced as 7 tenths as well. Write it down. Here is 7 tenths, and be sure to spell it out. Let's move on to part two. This place value chart shows the ones, tens, and hundreds place values, and we need to find the name of this missing place value. And I know this part of the number is pronounced 540, but how do you pronounce 0.7? And as you can see here, 0.7 is pronounced 7 tenths. So that means the 7 is in the tenths place value. Let's go ahead and write that down. That means this number is pronounced 540 and 7 tenths. Let's write that down here. So once again, let's take a look at how we pronounce that number. 540 and 7 tenths. 540 and 7 tenths. And that means the 7 is in the tenths place value. Now for part three. This place value chart shows the ones, tens, and hundreds place values, and we need to find the names of the missing place values here. I know this place value is a tenths place value because we figured that out in part two, so let's write it down. And 
And here's the connection that we have here. Here was the tens and hundreds place value. This is the tenths with the THS and hundredths place value. So let's write it down. And don't forget the THS in hundredths. Now let's write down the pronunciation of the number. Here we have 612 and 19 hundredths. So we'll write down 612 and 19 hundredths. Let's take one more look at the pronunciation. 612 and 19 hundredths. 612 and 19 hundredths. And we say hundredths at the end of this number because the last digit is in the hundredths place value. Let's finish up with part four. Convert each decimal to a mixed number, and that'll include a whole number and a fraction. Here's the example box. 213 and 59 hundredths can also be written as 213 and 59 hundredths. Here's letter C, 540 and 7 tenths, 540 and 7 tenths. Letter D, 612 and 19 hundredths, 612 and 19 hundredths. Finally, letter E, 35 and 1 hundredths. 35 and 100.